Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we've had some really bad weather on the Gold Coast the last couple of weeks. So I thought I'd put together a quick video of just some of my spearfishing gear. So starting off, I guess we'll start with masks. I always bring two masks on the boat just in case I lose one or one breaks. So I just use a basic SEAC mask. It's about 40 bucks and a snorkel. I've had this snorkel for years. It's just a Mares snorkel. And then my backup mask is just a Mares mask pretty basic for gloves I just use these ones I got from Bunnings they're they're like a Kevlar glove gardening glove um, they work really well so they're nice and thin so when I'm sort of loading my gun and mucking around with my reel it's really easy next is my booties I use five mil booties which is pretty thick but I just find it makes it all really comfortable uh, in my fins and I've had these for probably five years and you can tell that I'm um, probably due for another pair. They've got big holes on them. Recently, just bought a dive watch. I've been diving for probably 10 years now and I've never used a dive watch before. So it's been a really cool addition. It shows you how deep you dive, your dive time, and also your surface time as well. It's really good for safety in that aspect. Recently bought a dive torch too, which is really cool. So when I'm looking for craze and caves and things like that, um, it's really handy to, to see in there. I also keep a couple of spoons on the boat, just in case we see some big fish, like wahoo or something like that. Can always grab a spoon, throw it uh, in front of you. It works as a bit of a flasher too. Next is my dive belt. So I've just got a rubber dive belt with about three or four kilos on it at the moment. Also got a belt reel here. It's just a cheap Adreno reel that I've zip tied on there. Um, and yeah, I haven't really had to use it, but if I ever do, it's good to know that uh, it's there. And then I've just got a cheap Omar dive knife. I've also screwed a hole in it and just attached this bungee cord. So it um, just stops me from losing my knife. I did buy a really good knife. It was probably like 60, 70 bucks. And the second or third time I used it, I dropped it. And yeah, that was the last of it. Never saw it again. That bit of rope works really well to, to keep your knife. If I do use a dive float, I've just got this yellow hard float here. Um, works well. It's got the little slot for the flag too. I think this is 20 meters line here, which I use if I'm using the float. Also got a um, speed spike on there too. So if I go for a shore dive or something like that, I'll bring the float um, and string my fish on here. Next is fins. I started off just using a pair of these plastic fins. Um, they're pretty good. They're bulletproof, which, um, when you're starting, starting off is good because you'll probably be doing a lot of rock hopping and things like that. And then my next set of decent fins were these dive bars. They're, um, they're just fiberglass dive bars, medium. I think I got mediums with uh, Mares foot pockets. And I've had these for probably six or seven years now. Yeah, use them heaps and they're, they're really good quality. So with my wetsuits, I recently got gifted to me a um, salt skin suit. It's three and a half mil and super comfortable. I, I love it so much. My uh, girlfriend got it for me for my birthday, so thanks Jazz. Um, but yeah, it's it's an awesome wetsuit. Uh, and it's I don't know if it's open cell because you don't need to actually lube it up or wet it before you put it on. So it makes it really easy just to slip on. My other wetsuit is a Salvamere Crypsis. I think it's five and a half mil. Uh, and I use this in winter. So when the water starts getting a bit colder, I'll um, use this wetsuit and yeah, it's super warm. I've only used it for one season, but um, it's held up really well. We don't get too cold of water here on the Gold Coast, but I do get pretty cold in the water. So it's good to have something nice and warm. The last thing I'm gonna run through is my spear guns. When I started spearing when I was about 14, 15 years old, I started off with uh, a fiberglass hand spear. If you've ever used one of these things, you'll appreciate how hard it is to actually shoot a good fish with it. So I didn't really spear many fish with this. It's good fun. It's good to learn. And my next upgrade was a, I think it's a meter Sea Hornet. Um, these guns are a little beast. I've lost a shaft, fun little gun. But yeah, again, like the hand spear, it's, it's pretty useless. They're not that good. And then from there, I upgraded to a Sea Hornet Magnum. I think this gun's a meter 20, so yeah, I used that for a couple of years. And then I guess when I was probably about 17, 18 years old, I saved up and bought a 
Rob Allen 120 um, and I still use this gun today. It's a really good gun. I got a Rob Allen 120 and a Rob Allen 140. Um, both set up exactly the same. So I run a standard setup. They both got two 14 mil bands and a seven mil spear. And they both got 40 centimeter overhang. They both got a Rob Allen reel on there. Both have about 50 meters of two mil Dyneema on there. So really strong shooting line. I have used some roller guns in the past. I used to have a Rob Allen uh, 90 centimeter roller. Awesome gun, awesome range on it. But I found changing from a small roller gun to a meter 40 Rob Allen with a standard setup, it just makes it really hard to sort of eye in your shot. They obviously don't shoot the same. The roller has no recoil and a big gun like this has quite a bit of recoil. Yeah, that's my gun setup. Hopefully you guys enjoy that video. I'm really keen to get out in the water. Unfortunately, it's been dirty as, so ho hopefully get out in the next couple of days and catch some more fish. But um, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.